Hey, this is Mr. Masonette, and what we're going to be doing in this tutorial is practice translating objects on the coordinate plane. This problem is asking us to translate triangle ABC, positive 8 in the x direction, and negative 6 in the y direction. A movement in the x direction means moving either left or right because the x axis runs in a direction that is either left or right. A movement in the y direction means moving up or down because the y axis runs vertically or up or down. A positive movement in the x direction is movement to the right, and a negative movement in the x direction indicates movement to the left. And in the y direction, moving something up would be a positive movement, and moving something down would indicate a negative movement. Now, we could have just moved each point 8 units to the right and 6 units down, and then plot our new points but sometimes you may be asked to find the new coordinates without the aid of a graph. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to use a little integer addition to find our new points. So let's start by labeling the current location of point A, which is at negative 9 and positive 4. Point B is currently located at negative 5, positive 7, and point C is located at negative 4, positive 3. All right, to find the new location of points A, B, and C, what we can do is we can take this positive 8 and we can add that to each one of our x values. Because the problem states that we have to move positive 8 in the x direction, we simply add 8 to our x values. So let's start with negative 9. If we take negative 9 and add that to 8, that gives us a result of negative 1. All right, let's add positive 8 to negative 5. Negative 5 and positive 8 is equal to positive 3. And now we have to take negative 4, our last x value, and also add that to 8. Negative 4 and positive 8 is equal to positive 4. All right, now let's determine our new y values. Because we have to move our object negative 6 in the y direction, we just take all of our y values and subtract 6. So let's start with the y value positive 4. If we take away 6 from positive 4, that leaves us with negative 2. Our next y value is 7. So if we take 7 and subtract 6, that gives us positive 1. Our last y value is positive 3. If we subtract 6 from that, we are left with negative 3. Now that we have the new coordinates of our translated points, let's go ahead and graph them. Point A is going to be located at negative 1, negative 2. Point B is going to be located at positive 3, positive 1. And point C will be located at positive 4, negative 3. Now we can connect our points together to form our translated triangle. Now, one thing that we should remember about any translation is that after the object is translated, it should be congruent to the original object. If your shape is not congruent, well, that just means that your coordinates are not all correct. We can also verify that we did our translation correctly by taking each point individually and moving over to the right 8 and then down 6 to see if we land on the correct location. So if we start here at point B and go over 8 in the x direction and we go negative 6 in the y direction, we can see that we did end up where we were supposed to. If we check point C and move over a distance of positive 8 in the x direction and down 6 in the y direction, you can see that we would land on our transform point C as well. And this is also the case with point A if we move 8 to the right and down 6 units. Now, an easier way that we could have done this was by taking each original point and moving 8 units to the right and then 6 units down and then making a new point. However, your teacher may ask you to figure out where the new point would be without using a graph. So it is important that you can perform a translation with a graph and without a graph. All right, I want to say thanks a lot for checking out this math tutorial. Please don't forget to hit that subscription button before you leave and enable notifications. So until next time, this is Mr. Masonette with Masonette Math.